Nigeria's president, Bola Metinubu, told the leadership of the National Assembly back in June that both the upper and lower legislative chambers should push partisanship aside and make national interest their focus. Speaking at a closed-door meeting with the lawmakers, President Tinubu told them to put Nigeria first and be focused on the purpose of legislature. But how critical is the National Assembly in President Tinubu's quest for a radically improved socioeconomic Nigeria? Joining me live from our Abuja studios to discuss this is a policy analyst and a senior economist at SPM Professionals, Paul Alaji. We thank you for your coming in tonight on the show. It's good to have you in our Abuja studios. Let's thank get you started. So very much. What thank you so are, much do you for consider you. to be the key functions and the roles of the legislature in economic policies formulation and action for the country? Well, across the world, we consider legislatures as politicians. Politics itself is a process of determining who gets what, when, and how. And when we are discussing who gets what, when, and how, most of the time, we are not just referring to power, we are referring to resources. Economics is so central around resources, resource allocation. And that is why in economics is the study of uh, limited resources and how we are trying to, I mean, use those limited resources to satisfy our limited ones. But who are the people that would decide this for us? Is it just us when it comes to macro level or at government level as a component of micro? Who decide that uh, most of the time the lawmakers, by the policy formulated, by the law they decide, and uh, by the law they make, and how they see the overall performance of the economy. I will give you an instance. If an executive submits a budget to the national or, or, or state assembly and says he would like to spend 50 billion naira to buy private vehicle or 50 billion naira to buy, uh, to, to construct a road or a bridge, the legislature would look at it and say, the priority for our people now is a car or a road. By implication, when the executive submits budgets to the National Assembly, it is not yet an act. It is just a bill. The legislature must agree with the executive before such will become the law. Therefore, when you look at what is happening in overall interest of Nigeria, what has happened in Nigeria over time, we need to question what is the role of legislature and what kind of policy are they forming? I'm just speaking, you know, squarely for now on resource allocation um, uh, uh, regarding what they agree to a policy formation or the kind of bill they passed. Therefore, Nigeria would have gotten better if we have had stronger legislature, especially at the state level. Because when you look at what is happening at state, and you look at something that have happened at the federal, and you see the mungus amount in narrow terms that we have spent on our budget, you wonder, is this the best we can get? That said, again, when it comes to policy, general policy formulation, we have seen national economic development, the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. Right now, Nigeria has also mentioned another national economic uh, development plan, which of course is expected to run for some years, and I think came to force, I think last year. Now, by how much? National Assembly must be fully involved in this. This is the reason. We see government, different government have different policy. President Obasanjo uh, brought uh, seed, leads, and needs. President Yaradua got there and abandoned some of the policies. In fact, we have seen those four refineries being privatized under President Obasanjo. President Yaradua that came in thereafter abandoned the privatization and perhaps said the investigation should be carried out. Yeah, that, that could be fair, but what was the report, the aftermath effect? Is Nigeria better off or worse off? President Jonathan, who had served as the vice to President Yaradua, eventually became the president of the Republic and brought another program from Shopee to, you know, different program, giving young entrepreneurs 10 million naira, looking for them ac across the country. Then that president also left after a, a term with some years that the remainder of President Yaradua in office. We saw President um, Buhari, who also brought his own economic agenda uh, from an for Anchor Borrowers program to trade that money and all of this. That program, those programs, we are not sure whether it's going to be continued or not, even though at the early stage of President and Bola Tinubu's administration, it seems as though the government will continue. But you can see high level of inconsistency. 
that executives have perpetrated, you know, and I'm only talking of recent history, is not different from what we have had from 1960. When new government come, they seem to come with new program, new projects, new plans entirely. Therefore, the country is always going back to reset mode. It, what that, should we be looking at? Yes. The National Assembly have not taken time. Yes, I'm trying to find out the, the role of the legislature now in terms of whether the legislature <clears throat> should be reactive or proactive. Where does the legislature fit in here uh, in, in the scheme of things in ensuring there's a fast track in terms of policies, in terms of implementations, in terms of actionable work that needs to be done uh, for, for the kind of jobs that we have on the ground? I'm trying to find that for the legislature. And do you see that happening right now? I give you a, I, I give you an example. Ways and means is very popular. I think uh, your show and many other shows have made this popular among Nigeria, where we have seen executive uh, uh, gone to national assembly as against what the rule says, or five percent of previous year's revenue, and we have seen that amount graduated to seventy and over eighty percent being collected. That is a docile national assembly. A proactive national assembly would have. Ask question during oversight function to say we cannot get to this level because of the impact on the economy. We have also seen in, in more recent time where it is mentioned that even the uh, the yard that has been budgeted for that was being budgeted for sent to the national assembly has already been delivered. Now, where is the role of national assembly? The proactiveness in the, of national assembly in some of these economic matters is in doubt. It's not just for political, you know, activity and just supervision of MDAs. It's important for national assembly to understand that we cannot have a strong economy without having strong legislature and okay. not just the legislature. Great. Their job is to make policy to protect. So if you, if you look at the, if, if you look weak, at the last then it's a Paul, reflection of Paul, a national if, if assembly. If you look at the last legislature under President Buhari's administration for eight years, they pride themselves that they passed the highest number of laws that support economy, ease of doing business in Nigeria. Do, at the end of the day, did we see that really happen? Did it really materialize? So was it the fault of the legislature or the executive or both? Well, I, I must tell you that the National Assembly under President Buhari, the Eighth Assembly, passed some laws um, that we have seen, including the PIA. Uh, now, the PIA has been passed. The implementation is a different kettle of fish. So the National Assembly will make law and pass. The executive job is to implement. So it is not just in the number of bills that is passed. It's in the number of bills that this economy can absorb and what executive capacity and realistically can implement. So it's not just to stop and say, oh, we have passed a number of bills, but how can we implement those bills? And this conversation must go beyond just uh, sending a bill to National Assembly or somebody uh, raising a motion or trying to raise a bill and eventually becomes an act. How well can the national uh, can the executive because executive will sign at the end of the day, sign off on what the National Assembly have passed before it becomes the law. When it becomes the law, what is the reflection? Is it making us better off or is it making us worse off? They pride themselves of passing the largest number of, uh, of, of, of bills, you know, and turning them to an act in Nigeria. The question is, are we better off today? Are we worse off? When you look at overall economy, there are ways you measure it. With what they've done, does it have implication? Well, in terms of economy, just economy for now, does it have implication on our growth? Is our GDP better off or worse off? Does it have implication on our exchange rates? Is it better off or worse off? And then don't let us uh, be, be let, let's be direct about this. I've heard a lot of people say, uh, countries, it's better for country to always develop. The truth is that if you want to destroy a people, the first thing you do is to destroy their currency. If the currency is destroyed, it is very easy to take the people down. Why? Because they will need to sweat more in order to get what they would have gotten with less effort. Yes, because in the, at the end of the day, the world is a global village. Well, President, uh, the, the legislature is currently investigating issues around oil thefts. Uh, revenue matters, some pay taxes to the government, as well as the powers of the central bank governor, and, and among other things. Well, what's your take on all of this that the current assembly is currently pursuing? Well, I, I think it's fantastic. We need to investigate oil theft. If you look at the uh, the allocation Nigeria has, uh, you see that we are underperforming, and that's loss of revenue. Does it mean that our oil has suddenly run dry? No. 
There are people who are milking what is meant for the entire federation, for their self-gain, for their personal gain. It's important, but we must go beyond investigating. This is not the first time National Assembly will investigate. After the investigation and report committee are set up, we have not been able to put up structures and systems to make stealing really very difficult. Stealing of our oil. I've also seen that the National Assembly is looking at the power of, of Central Bank. We need to make policy not to respond to an individual action. Central Bank is an institution. We should not rip off the Central Bank. We need to be very, I mean, wide in our view. Look at since the Central Bank has been in place since 1959 till now. Over 60 years. Now, does it mean do, does it mean that because of an action that we observe, especially because of uh, changing variation of currency and all of those things that we did from last year to this year, should we therefore say that the power of central bank should be completely taken? And I'm not supporting that they should not audit or look at what central bank is doing. But I'm saying that we should distinguish between what concerns an institution and what concerns an individual. Rather, we should make laws around what makes an individual what we what we should do is to ensure that an individual does not be become bigger than the institution rather than ripping up the institution because we want to cut our face to me our nose to spite our face i'll say this before now nigeria used to be a country nigeria was a country that run parliamentary system where we have three regions you know but because of some action of some individual in early times nigeria felt that we need to divide into states the question is the time we had regions and the time we have states when are we better off under the regional government or under the state so, government. I can tell you, history so, books, documents are there that yes. were better under the regional government. So, but why did we do this? Because of action of some individuals. Then we have to take a blanket decision that will affect everybody together. But, 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 but uh, here we are, the National Assembly. Uh, do you think they can help President Tinubu deliver on his eight-point agenda uh, of a stronger social economy for 200 million Nigerians? Do you think this National Assembly, Mr. President, has told them to put the interest of Nigeria first above personal interest? Do you think the National Assembly is heading in that direction? What do you like to see moving forward? Well, I, I, think, I think the National Assembly should have no option. People are losing confidence in the economy. And it only means, it will only mean well for the entire Nigerians when the National Assembly reflect the reality of today. The president has said, had mentioned some of the things he wants to achieve. A good National Assembly, and majority in the National Assembly are part, members of his party. So even if they want their party to deliver Nigeria from current economic quagmire, it will be important for National Assembly to support in the spirit of a greater and a better Nigeria. If we do otherwise, it will make mess of the entire system that is already getting weak this moment today. What I expect from National Assembly is to look at the indicator and parameter. Whatever executive is sending to them or what executive wants, what, how can this benefit Nigeria? Will it make poverty level reduce? Will it make unemployment reduce? Will it make income to grow? Will it make education to become better? Will it improve our health sector? Will it improve our earning power? Will it improve the power of the currency that we earn? That is the Naira against the rest of the world. Will it, will it boost our SP? But these are things National Assembly members should think about to deliver us, not how many cars, what brand of cars do we drive, or uh, who should produce our car. If you do it locally, then you are telling us not just with your words, but with your action, that you love Nigeria, you want to be with Nigeria, and you want Nigeria to grow. And to grow our money, we need to spend on this economy, not just abroad only. All right, so grateful for your insight and perspectives tonight. Paul Alaji from SPM Professionals. Do have a wonderful evening and see you again soon. Mm -hmm.